Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Let's get down to business, bodybuilding, Italy, Flex Pro. Yes, Nathan Diasha versus Regan Grimes. Nathan was more conditioned, outposed Regan Grimes. Now a lot of people saying that maybe he lost a little bit of muscle. If he did, was very minimum because he still showed a lot of density in this performance. Nathan is one of those guys that knows how to win pro shows. He's won plenty, and I'm excited to see what he brings to the Mr. Olympia. Welcome back, Nathan. Now, Regan Grimes looked bigger. He looked awesome, but could have been tighter. If he was tighter, I think he could have beaten Nathan Diasha. Now, this is a great lesson. He can continue to do shows, just bring the conditioning a little bit more, and Regan Grimes will be amazing. I think these guys are gonna be battling it out at the Mr. Olympia because Regan has an opportunity to continue to compete. Congratulations to both of them. Regan Grimes, keep on going. In the men's physique, Ali Bilal, this guy is as good as it gets. When his back has the detail, which he knows he needs to get the back detail because from the front, Ali Bilal can be on the first call out at the Mr. Olympia. When I judged him in India, we were missing the back detail. But right now in Italy, he had plenty of back detail. Congratulations, going to the Mr. Olympia in the bikini. What a battle. Lisa Raith, yes, she beat Otavia. Great competitors. I thought her conditioning could have been just a little tighter, but she had all the fullness, the round glutes to prevail. Congratulations going to the Mr. Olympia. In Washington, what an amazing show. That's gotta be one of the best shows in the calendar year, the Sasquatch Pro. Man, Michelle Mayberry and Chris Algeo are making history. Everybody wants to compete in their show. And we had Wendy Fertino winning in the figure. Great lines, great conditioning. She knows how to pose. She knows she's not one of the biggest. She knows her weaknesses. She knows her strength. She is one of the most experienced competitors in the figure category. And she's going to the Mr. Olympia. She knows what to do. The key question is, can Wendy Fortino attack that first call out? That's what we're gonna have to see it. But she has the potential to do so. Congratulations. Moving on to bikini, Temecia Carter. Man, tall, athletic, great separation between hamstrings and glutes, very soft, nothing too hard, nothing too soft. She was perfect. I think she can contain a little bit of the leg development, but it's just a minor detail. Congratulations, going to the Olympia. Second place, Malu Duarte. Two second places in a row. This girl is getting close, and in third place, Yes, Eureka Shigemoto again. These are top competitors. I think they had 44 in the pro bikini. Man, congratulations, great show. In the men's physique from Brazil, Edivan Palmeira. Man, this guy was top five at the Mr. Olympia. Now the chest is bigger, the separation on the back. If there's somebody that can attack that first call out with Aaron Banks, Diogo Montenegro, and Brandon Hendricks, is Edivan Palmeira. This guy is as good as he gets, watch out for him. In the wellness, Texas, Isamara Santos, from Brazil as well. Very tall, she's got plenty of muscle, pose as well. The key question is, can she attack Franciele Matos, Isa Pereira, Angela Borges, because she knows them. She knows that they pose very feisty. And despite being tall competitor, is Samara Santos, she needs to pose with a little bit more aggressiveness against some of these girls. They're just a little bit more savvy and experienced on stage. So the physique is there. Can we pose a little bit better at the Mr. Olympia, get with those girls and fight against them? Let's see what's gonna happen. And news, Ian Valier retires from bodybuilding. I'm saying this right now. In terms of victory, he is the greatest Canadian bodybuilder of all times. No other open Canadian bodybuilder has won more shows than Ian Valier. He made history. He was controversial. He was a star on stage. He won in Toronto. He won in Vancouver. He won in Texas. He was sincere in every podcast he did. He was a star. 
And yes, I'm going to miss him on stage, but I'm gonna tell you, this guy is so charismatic, I think he's gonna be awesome. Maybe commentating in some shows, maybe in his own podcast. And remember, there was a guy, on one time I asked this guy, hey, who inspired you to become a bodybuilder? And he said, Ian Valier. The name of this guy, Chris Bumstead. That's how relevant Ian Valier has been to bodybuilding. Hey, we see you back because we know you're great and we're gonna be with you for a many, many years to come. Congratulations on an amazing career. My name is Tarek Elgindi with the Mr. Olympia and I'll see you next time.